Raising the question, does CG matter on symmetrical balls? On these new super symmetrical core designs, maybe more than you think. My name is Brian Buckosh, core design engineer with Brunswick Bowling, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new super symmetrical core design inside the Radical Snapshot. We're going to take a look at some of the core features that are borrowed from some of the other Radical core designs in the lineup, and we're going to take a look at how super symmetrical core designs compare to regular symmetrical core designs in the Radical lineup. First of all, we're going to take a walk around this Radical Snapshot core, looking at all of the design features, starting with this top knob. Like many of the other Radical core designs in the lineup, this top knob is built so that when you drill your fingers into the top of this core, either in a pin-up layout or in a short pin layout, you're missing this top knob. When you miss the top knob, that means the core retains its height and it retains its differential after drilling. Remember, total differential is going to help the flare potential and the total hook of the bowling ball, so retaining it after drilling is very important. The snapshot core also has a front nose like many of the asymmetrical cores in the current lineup, which means as soon as you drill your thumb into the side of one of these cores, you're going to hit that front knob immediately. What that's going to do is it's going to raise the intermediate differential by skinnying up the front of that core when you drill your thumb into it. Raising the intermediate differential in these balls is going to create a shorter, sharper hook window when the ball encounters friction. This core has wings on the side of the core, like a lot of the asymmetrical balls do. In front of me here, I have the Katana multi-density core that was most recently in the Katana Strike and the Katana Assault. These wings on the side create intermediate differential. They act as moment arms that create more torque at the back of the lane. And the symmetrical snapshot core has wing features at the bottom that are very reminiscent of the boat feature that is on the hitter core. This boat feature at the bottom creates instability in this core, giving the core more of a V-shaped cross-section. This instability means that the core retains tilt a little bit longer and unloads more at the back of the lane. But you might be asking yourself, with all of these features that are on this core that are usually reminiscent of asymmetrical cores in the Radical lineup, how is this new snapshot core a symmetrical core? And the answer comes with the average of the masses around the pin axis. So from the top down, if you look at this, Yes, it does have intermediate wings that come out on the sides, the intermediate plane of this core, but that is balanced by the nose of this core. When you look at the cross-section of an asymmetrical ball like the Katana series, these intermediate wings are much larger, creating much more moment arms in the intermediate plane. The RG of the intermediate plane is much higher. This nose is much skinnier, and even though it sticks out just as far, it's not nearly as massive as the nose that's on our super symmetrical snapshot core. What this means is there's more mass in the intermediate direction on this katana core, and the results are intermediate differential or asymmetry in this katana core. By comparison, the average of mass of all of these wings that are sticking out in various directions on various planes of this brand new snapshot core are averaging out to cancel each other out. In other words, the mass of the nose and the mass of the intermediate wings results in a net zero. This means that there's no intermediate differential. This means that this core is symmetrical before you drill into it. But this big nose, because it's drillable, can result in a big change in post-drilled numbers. Undrilled, this core starts with a 252 RG and an 050 total differential. But this core can go up as high as 056 total differential with an 018 intermediate differential after drilling. It is certainly in the range of asymmetrical ball motion. By comparison, a standard symmetrical core results in about 12 points of intermediate differential after drilling, even with the strongest, sharpest layouts. 12 points of intermediate differential is going to be a noticeably smoother reaction at the back of the lane compared to 18 points like the max flip layout. But more than that, a simple symmetrical core design here we have the breakaway core, doesn't really change profiles when you change the CG, when you swing the CG out or when you put it in line with the thumb. In other words, if I have the CG in line with the thumb and I drill into the side of this core, I'm hitting almost the exact same amount of mass as if I kick the CG out and I drill into the side of this core this way with the CG out near the VAL. Because of this, the post-drilled numbers stay almost identical to one another regardless of where the CG is. And as the saying goes, in this case, CG no matter. But with these super symmetrical core designs, you'll notice that the location of the CG is going to locate a lot of these features on this core, such as this front nose or this carved area at 45 degrees. And that is significantly going to influence the post-drilled numbers of this ball. 
For example, the max flip layout we said already contains an 018 intermediate differential after drilling your thumb straight through this knob. The max flip layout has a drilling angle of about 70 degrees. That drilling angle is going to be controlled by drawing a line from the pin right through the CG. Now, if we reduce that drilling angle by kicking the CG out and reducing the drilling angle from 70 to something like 30 degrees, then instead of hitting the nose, your thumb is going to go right through that 45 degree carved area in this core. Your thumb isn't going to hit the core nearly as soon as it would if it was hitting the nose. When it misses the nose and goes through all that compound material, it's not removing nearly as much mass. The result of the intermediate differential after drilling is 008. That's 10 points less intermediate differential than it would be if you put the CG in line with the thumb and drilled your thumb right through that nose. That change in intermediate differential is going to result in a substantially smoother ball motion. So choosing your drilling angle means a ton more versatility in supersymmetrical core designs and allowing you to fine tune the reaction to the reaction shape that you are looking for. That's all the information I have on this brand new supersymmetrical snapshot core design. Make sure you follow us on all of our social media channels. My name is Brian Buckosh and this has been The Radical Rundown.